The next paper is titled Toward Practical White Box Cryptography Optimizing Efficiency and Space Hardness by Andri Bogdanov and uh, Takanora Isobe and Elma uh, Tischhauser. And uh, the talk is given by Andri. basically results uh, from the following two questions. Uh, what can our techniques from Internet be script analysis and design two questions like why box And is it possible to obtain the same efficiency results from why box script? Just will be the outline of What is it? Well, in theory, uh, we always assume that key entries in the system and the script secrets are in fact together. Not actually. Uh, a moralistic set. So, in other words, the adversary has full control over his read memories, read logic, In most cases, he talks to the software. Whereas, uh, applications that have white box also. This is what's obvious that. Security goals that people have mentioned are not this list, but this is the goal. It's weak white box security and strong one. Weak white box security means that even if white box actors this level are Strong white box security is additionally that it's hard to work if you have access to uh, a script. It's hard to get to the We don't have good problems uh, except in public It's very But the rest of the talks I will. Is how we could try to solve uh, this problem. Um, application.
citizens of White Box trip to a post prison with harassment where uh, we have two types of identities and platforms that we should be protected. So their issue is of the black box. Cyber is just a piece of product. It has existed for them. They have no clients to use the product. And there is the client side. On the client side, white box settings where the adversary can access uh, no memory this uh, part of the system this entity would typically have a white box recent episode of white box uh, crypto is uh, the popular emulator, mobile phone. Um, this happens, for example, in a situation where you don't have smartphone, mobile phone, but the emulator still wants to be used to it. And also multiple For example, one idea is also used to protect domestic violence. Uh, we shared that idea a couple of years ago. Uh, what have the existing um, white box solutions been? Well, basically the aim has been to implement uh, DES or AES yeah, in this white box manner. And how do you do that? You would typically mask it with some secret linear and non-linear transforms. And you would basically mask the round transform. And then in the next round, remove the mask, do some operation, and then impose a different mask. Um, in this, you implement a stable lookup. And of course, uh, there have been a lot of proposals, basically following the philosophy, and a lot of attacks. And all attacks are practical. Why? Because, well, you can observe a lot of structure after just one round. Um, some recent nice results also include uh, a rather generic um, tax. Uh, that uh, was an actual DPA performed on an FTPA. Uh, that was a white box implementation then, the best paper at um, chess was differential computational analysis DCA, which is basically kind of DPA with different traces, but it proved to be extremely efficient uh, implementation of DES and DES in, in the white box setting. And there are also a differential fault analysis uh, from Black Hat Europe by RISC. Okay. Um, there was also an Asian Crypt paper a couple of years ago um, proposing uh, a white box cipher which is dedicated. It was called Asasa. So basically, it literally consists, uh, consists of five layers uh, at the core. A fine nonlinear, a fine nonlinear. And people also have been trying to analyze this construction, which is not always very easy to do. But for just five layers, um, uh, there's a practical break. And maybe you 
you need at least 12 layers of this construction to make it secure. And so it looks like the underlying problem needs a bit of analysis. Okay. Uh, so, so what was the situation for 2015? We had one dedicated white box cipher and a lot of um, different implementations of AES. And SSR might be secure if you increase the profound. Um, it's where we started looking at the problem. And our challenge was to come up with something robust in the web box setting, um, which would also enjoy a couple of other nice properties. So, you remember we have the black box implementation and the white box implementation, which are not necessarily the same. In the black box implementation, we deal just with the standard security where we want key recovery and indistinguishability from our cipher, so let's say block cipher. And then in the uh, white box setting, we want key extraction security such that we cannot extract the original cipher key. And we want some kind of incompressibility I will go back to that. But the intuition is that you have some code, and then you have to extract this code in its entirety to be able to re replicate the exact functionality. Right? Compare with, for example, AES. Okay, so you want to integrate ESP that is available in clear text in your implementation. It's just enough to copy, so it's 16 bytes. Here, the idea is that your implementation may be bigger, so you choose how much you want to invest. Uh, and then you prove that it's uh, infeasible to compute your functionality without copying the entire implementation, nearly entire implementation, on top of uh, the extraction security. And of course, we want a uh, compact and fast implementation in the black box and some efficient implementation in the white box. Okay. And this was our proposal for CCS 15. Um, it's also a table lookup based thing. It's a dedicated cipher, dedicated block cipher, and the idea is very simple. Uh, you encode a partial uh, AES code. underlying AES key, you can compute it directly. And then in the white box, you don't uh, give this key to the implementation. In, in the white box, you compute the partial tabulation of AES and tabulate it. And then in the black box, you have a compact way to compute this function. In, in the white box, you can show that you Extraction security reduces the uh, recovery for you or any other person. And then you switch that into, for example, this construction or some other facial construction, and uh, this gives you a block cipher that is compact in the black box and secure against. Uh, extraction in the white box. Additionally, we can also show uh, some space hardness or incompressibility um, in a rose strict sense that you need almost the entire table to actually uh, be able to copy the functionality. Okay. So here are some instances of that cipher um, and those numbers correspond to to uh, the size of the code. You, you, you can basically pick any numbers here. So if you want to invest one megabyte of code, you just pick the parameters such that your table is about one megabyte. Okay. Uh, and it, it's totally easy to analyze with our standard symmetric key techniques like uh, linear differential cryptanalysis, interval cryptanalysis, possible differentials, 
did, and we picked a number of rounds according to that. Yeah. I will show you the, the better comparison uh, in terms of performance. Uh, after. Um, in this asymmetry free paper, we propose uh, a more efficient construction, which is instead of being why still uh, is nested SPN, where we don't rely on the security of AES anymore, but we design small block ciphers of our own, uh, and we reduce the key extraction security to the key recovery security of those dedicated ciphers. And those ciphers are AES-based, so this is the nested SPN construction of uh, something which we call SPN box. Uh, here you have t 10 outer rounds with a full a a MDS matrix for diffusion. And for the S boxes, you have just a dedicated block cipher. And depending on how much memory you want to invest, you choose uh, different block size. So in the black box implementation, you would tabulate this small cipher, and in the black box implementation, you would compute it directly, such that it's compact. And you can work efficiently with many keys. And those ciphers are heavily AES-based, but n not exactly AES, obviously. So they use ESS box and uh, AES mix column-based diffusion. Those are the matrices. Uh, uh, most of them are involutions for the uh, outer cipher. And those are the matrices, diffuse matrices for the inner cipher. For yeah, the underlying S box, or with the ESS box. OK. Uh, here are some graphical repre representations of um, claims against uh, incompressibility. Basically, this means that in many settings, you have to isolate almost the entire code to be able to uh, copy the functionality of it. And we, we define um, a lot of different notions for how to measure incompressibility, uh, both adaptively and non-adaptively. And those give you different results. But you can also control those with numbers of rounds. And I think Pierre also show something uh, in that direction in, in his talk. OK. Uh, then I will finish off with a short implementation study where we compare SPN box uh, to space, but also provide some absolute numbers in our scale-like machine. Uh, where we make a lot of use of the ESNI um, instructions. So basically, uh, in the black box, where you don't have to tabulate, yeah, where you have your key available, uh, you get those n numbers in cycles per byte, you know, uh, which is just several dozen. You know, in if you remember, um, AES before uh, you know, they introduced uh, AES and I was uh, somewhere between 10 and uh, 20 cycles per byte. And here we have quite some comparable figures in, in, the, in the white box. Um, we did that now for two platforms, for the Skylake and for the ARM. Samsung Galaxy uh, S6, not, you know, uh, Note. Um, and uh, here you get the performance numbers, which are quite similar. So it's also a couple of dozen clock cycles per byte of data processed. Uh, those implementations are mostly lookup table. Already arrived at the conclusions. You have 
the space cipher where you can show that it's key extraction security reduces to the key recovery of AES. Um, then you have a more efficient construction that we have presented in SageCrypt paper, SPN box, uh, where by designing the underlying ciphers uh, in a dedicated way, you achieve more uh, efficiency. Uh, and if you want to compromise on the incompressibility, you can even go down on number of rounds uh, for certain components and it should give you uh, yet another speed up of some considerable factors, uh, especially for the space cipher. Uh, some related work is uh, the already mentioned big key paper um, uh, from Crypto 16, which is uh, only intersecting in the sense of big tables maybe, uh, then there is a notion of strong space hardness that I have omitted, uh, but you can see in the paper. And we will also uh, uh, see a note about white box key derivation in the next talk. So that would conclude it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions? I have a quick question about uh, the definition of the incompressibility. I understand your motivation, but uh, in order to claim that the program cannot be compressed any further, you have to assume that it was optimized uh, completely, that the current implementation of the white box cannot uh, be uh, replaced by any a shorter program, uh, but optimizing compilers are going to find all kinds of uh, shortcuts and ways how to reduce slightly the size. So how slightly, do you yes, yes. So slightly how do you define exactly the uh, notion of incompressible? Because some reduction might always be possible. Yes, some reduction is always possible. So where do you put the line? Um, so yeah, I think there are also talk about it in a bit more detail, but here we just, uh, so I'm just scrolling to space hardness. Um, here we follow a simple combinatorial uh, argument, uh, just table-based, yeah? We, we assume that those tables as such are not compressible, but of course they are, just a bit. But one could also argue that if uh, you know you tabulate a yes or this partial evaluation and it's quite compressible, then it means that you find a way to attack a yes. Yeah. So it cannot be significantly compressible. Otherwise, uh, there is probably a distinguisher. Uh, in in our assumption, for the sake of proofs, uh, it's flat, so it's it's not compressible anymore. But in in reality, there will be some com so compression. If I take your program and find the way how to eliminate one instruction, mm. uh, then uh, I've succeeded in the security game. Yeah, so uh, that's why our claims are also towards half of the table, usually, ah, okay. yeah, to deal with that a bit, yeah. So t over 2 means that, for example, we have one gigabyte of table, then uh, you shouldn't be uh, more successful than uh, just with probability of the minus 128 uh, to compute uh, the output, given some input, and half of the table. So that's why I also put our claims a bit. I have a question regarding um, the design of the, this new construction. Mm -hmm. um, up here, for instance, um, 
Can you shortly explain how does it help us to implement it in, an, in a white box scenario? I mean, you are. I mean, you designed this in a way that we we are able to actually build everything by lookup tables. What you say is just make this lookup table as S N in. Yeah. So yeah, we have two types of implementations. Yeah, we have black box implementation where you, you don't have to tabulate. Uh, this implementation is compact and usually faster. And then we have the white box implementation where you tabulate. Yeah. Now, in both implementations you do exactly this, but in the black box implementation you do this, and in the white box implementation you uh, perform a table lookup of this. That's the question. If I got your question. Yeah, okay. Then you don't have any, uh, let's say, um, encodings here involved. No external or uh, no external, external encoding. No, okay. no external encoding involved here. No, it's just the well-defined block cipher for the family. And this AK is this? Uh, yeah, it's it's derived from your master key. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and this is man. whole of the whole of the security is involved in this AK. I mean the secrecy. Yeah, secrecy. yeah. So your underlying key is some 128 bit key. Mm -hmm. Then by using those ciphers, you can expand it to your table, uh, which has a size of your choice. But yeah, yeah. It's uh, so the overall construction is um, satisfying the standard. Requirements for the 128, uh, 128 bit. Yeah. Where the Last question: How? I mean, you have the AES mix column here, what I can see. Mm. How the eight-bit block is possible? So for yeah, for the eight-bit block, you just take S block. Okay, mix column is removed. Submatrix. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.